Now we have learned how to map same data type and same field name. Now let's try with mapping same data type with different field names. So let's create a class called employee and we will be mapping it to person. So let's create a class. This is from the from package and let's call employee db object. This will have long ID string employee first name string employee let's create status and getters and to string Now let's create the object of the person, which is a DTO. Person DTO, and where the person will have string, first name, last name, and long employee ID. So let's create a setters and getters. And to string. Remember this in the person DTO, the employee ID, the field name is completely different. There, in case of the employee DB object, we created as a EMP ID, but in the person DTO, we created employee ID. Let's save all the files and let's start creating a mapper. So, here it is employee mapper. Let's annotate with mapper. Now let's create method public to person and, and the source object is employee DP object. Let's call it as a source in this case, or let's call it as employee and save the file. Save all the files and let's observe the mapper so if you see the mapper and there is nothing no status and getters has been invoked as part of the implementation because by default it looks for the same field name and same field types so right now we don't have any let's start mapping the fields mapping so as we are if it is a single one we can use a single or if it is a multiple we can provide one after another mapping 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 or we can combine them as mappings also let's try with mapping then we'll convert it as a collection so the mapping will have two main properties which is the source and the target let's go with the source and here we already give it in the employee we are going to try with em employee first name to target target is nothing but the person dto in the person dto we are going to map it to first name and let's create another mapping for employee last name target is last name let's reformat and save the file now let's observe the employee mapper implementation so if you see it the person dto set first name is being used employee that get employee first name so this mapping has been read from the mapping annotation. So let's try mapping another one. Okay. Source, which will be employee ID. And inside our target, it is a complete employee ID. Let's save the file and observe. Yes, it's been set as well. Let's try creating a test case for it testing package and create a new class employee test let's generate testing let's create the method name as 
different name and same data by underscore test. So let's create employee object first. Employee with DB object, let's call this employee is equals to new employee DB object. Employee test set ID is let's say it is one L employee dot set employee ID as 10,001 employee dot set first name as wrong employee dot set last name as Dasharada. So object has been created. Let's create a DTO. DTO, which is DTO is equals to null. We'll finish up the test case later. First, write the assertions. Not null, which is a DTO. And asset equals. So asset equals should be employee dot get employee first name should be equals to first name. set equals employee dot get last name employee last name equals dto dot get last name let's write another assertion for the employee id employee dot get emp id be dto dot get employee id and now if i run this test case it will be failed because the object DTO is null. So we need to create a DTO object using mapper. Let's create a mapper. So employee or mapper is equals to mappers dot get mapper of employee mapper. Let's maximize the video. Now let's write mapper dot person and pass the employee object so our expectation is the employee name employee first name should be equals to dto first name employee last name equals to dto last name and employee id equals to employee dto employee id let's save all the files and run the test case so run as change test case it's a success, which means it's been converted successfully. 